Hey guys, it's me, Cat Sam's here too, and we're here to do empties. Yay! Sorry that my eyes red. I just did like I spent a little bit of more time in the shower because I tried the Briogeo uh, deep conditioner, and I'm I guess being in the shower because I usually just take like five to eight minute showers. I was in there for like probably. 20 minutes, which is not good because uh, California is always in a drought and even if we aren't in a drought I always feel like we are in a drought. So I just conserve water. Anyways, also it's Monday. So it's mass Monday and Let's get started. I am going to use my Rose black rose cream mass by Sicily. I Got this in my Sicily subscription I'm gonna use this uh, Mac synthetic brush to put it on but anyways, um, I'm almost done with this and I have another one which I'm super excited about because I was pretty committed to buying um, the full size when this is done. So um, I'm pretty happy that I have another one. So let's put this on real quick. And this mask is instant use smoothing, plumping, and brightening. So, um, yeah, I love this. And I just got back from Minnesota. I feel really all gross. Oh, also, I'm gonna use this uh, Vanilla Bean Noel from the Bath and Body Works. I don't like this on my body, so I've been trying to uh, finish this. Actually, I put this in my Project Pan, my 28 and 2018, and I lost the footage, but fuck. So I don't know what to do. So I'm doing this long, year-long project. I filmed my second update, and then I lost the footage, and I'm like, fuck. Anyways, so I'm gonna put this on my feet, and I'm gonna rub, put my socks on it. So hold on while I do this. This is what I like to do with lotions that I don't care for. You know, it is summertime here in LA, so I feel like, you know, to keep your pedicure going is to really just moisturize your feet. So it's always good to have like lotion and then put a sock on. And so, um, I used to use the CeraVe. It's like an ointment and um, that works really good, but I'm trying to p finish that. And then once I'm finished with that, I think I'll go back to my CeraVe uh, because it's that good for the feet. Anyways, so let's go ahead and get started. Let's see, first off, me and my husband finished off the Q-tips. I got this. They're $6.25. We got the like the three pack from Costco. Um, we actually rebought this, so this is the the third one out of the three. But we always buy these. So um, my husband finished his favorite um, gel. This is KMS California Hair Stay. This is like you know I get this off of Amazon and he loves it. I also finished off the Hell Pore Cleanup AHA Fruit Toner. I got this in my Pink Soul subscription box. If you don't know what that is, I will link a video up in the card so you can check it out. It's pretty much an every other month subscription and uh, that's Korean Beauty and I like it, it's fun. Um, but I do find that once I like a product to find it, I can't really find it. So this one, I did like, it kind of smells very earthy, so it kind of smells like dirt. But I felt like it worked really well. Um, I haven't looked into getting this, but I feel like I'm gonna get my pink sole pretty soon, so I'll pro they'll probably, they usually send me a toner. So I'm not out of toners. I haven't found a toner that I'm like, oh my God, this is so good. If you guys like a toner that you just like your holy grail, leave it in the comments, especially if you have um, combination skin and maturing skin. Uh, I bought the, or we went through, me and my husband went through the Garnier Whole Blends Color Care Conditioner. It was okay. Um, yeah, I didn't, I didn't repurchase this. And then I went through the Almond and Vanilla Natural Almond Oil Body Wash by Bath & Body Works. This was okay too, I'm not repurchasing this. Um, I finished my Virage toner by doTERRA. I ended up not liking this, so I would actually spray it on my body just so I could finish it. Like more like right here. I'm not repurchasing that. I have this Deluxe Eye Sample. This came in a gift. Uh, was it Christmas? I think my sister bought me this for Christmas. It came with the Kate, like a whole bunch of Kate Somerville stuff, and I finished this Exfoliate Cleanser Daily Foaming Wash. This was nice, uh, but 
I kind of feel like cleansers, like because I do a double cleanse, I don't need to spend that much money on the second one. So if it comes in a kit or like there's a sale, maybe I'll purchase this, but I'm not getting this right away. Oh, I tried these Cogendo 100% Pure Cotton. This came in a box. This is pretty expensive. This is four. Oh, here's one. It looked like this. It's it's not completely bleached, so I'll, I'll use this. It was okay. I didn't find it, I didn't find it amazing. I find it very comparable to. I'm um, still a little bit more stiff than the Shiseido ones, but I don't find those amazing either. So I'm not repurchasing that. Um. Oh, me and my husband went through the one optic white toothpaste. I've been buying that. Um, I went through my holy grail. This is the Glossier Bomb.com. This is in the flavor or scent birthday. So it kind of, it's like a vanilla smell and it has a little bit of shimmer. I do like this, but I probably won't buy this one again. I do like the coconut and I do like the original, which doesn't have a scent. I, next, I do want to try the mint, but I love this is my favorite. If you've been following me for a while, you know that this is my favorite. Oh, I went through this um, gum, Healthy Gums, Healthy Life fluoride, fluoride Toothpaste in Mint. This is a like a travel size. I just finished this in my last trip to Minnesota. And when I travel, I just, whatever I get for travel size is fine. I don't really repurchase. Typically what I do is like, uh, when we go to the dentist, they give us one and I just kind of throw that in my bag to save. I'm not really particular when I travel because it's a very short time. So this was fine. I'm not going to go search out to purchase that. The next thing I have is the, it's a 10 leave-in product. It's a hair thing and um, it's expensive. I bought this because I hear everyone on YouTube talking about it. And I was like, I need to try this shit out. I think this for this little size was like 12 bucks. And uh, it's a it's amazing. It's it's called it's a ten for a reason. I did already repurchase it. I purchased the big size, which was like thirty five bucks. I'm like, I do like it. I fin let's do some samples. I finished my Luna sleeping oil and this mini. I've already repurchased this. I love this. I pr I finished this um, Arbon corrective eye cream. I do this. This is a travel size, and I love. Arbonne, I need to, there, there are certain parts of the line, like I like the serum, I like the toner, and I like the eye cream. But like the wash and the moisturizer, I'm like, uh. So like, and it's easier, it's less expensive to buy the set. So I'm kind of like testing stuff out, but I'll probably end up getting this again. I finished this Burt Bees cleansing oil. Well, there's, there's a little bit left, but I can't pump it out, and I didn't really like it. I'm one of those people like when I do a double cleanse, I like to open my eyes for some reason and this stung my eyes, so I didn't like it. I'm not repurchasing it. I finished a two masks. These are the Tony Moly, uh, the wine one. These are my favorite. I have repur- oh wait, there's three. Let's put that together. <laughs> I've already repurchased these, so I love these. These are my favorite. And then I've tried these uh, snail hydrogel eye patches by, who is this by? Alicia, Alicia Coy. And I don't know what it is with snails. I find it disgusting, but they work really well. So I just bought it because I want to see every snail product that I've tried, I've liked. And I'm like, I'm going to try these out. I get grossed out, but I do like them. I finished this exfoliate daily cleanse it cleanser i brought this traveling this was the same one it's fine again like i'm not gonna repurchase this okay so i finished this nars concealer i mean when i say i finished i dug in it um i'm not going to repurchase this one because i have i thought i just tried the potted one i don't know what that's called but the potted one i feel like it's better for me because i'm not tugging and uh, because my skin is maturing, I feel like the pot's better than this. But I do recommend this. If you like an emollient that doesn't dry out your under eyes, this, I think, I think this is good. And I have it in Biscuit. I finished this Shiseido Redefiance Wrinkle Resistant Intensive Eye Contour Cream. This lasted me for a month. This was a deluxe size sample. And uh, I'm considering buying it, but I have another one. So eye cream, you don't go through that fast. So I feel like I don't, I'm gonna keep this in mind. I'm, I do like it, but you know, I have other eye creams. 
Okay, so I have some concealers that I'm not finished with, but they, they started smelling bad. So I've had these for over a year. I have the Instant Age Rewind Eraser Dark Circle. So I think it's something about like the tip. <laughs> so I got pretty far down and I'm not gonna use it because it stinks. So I, I think it's like just the mixture of, you know, whatever products I'm using. So I don't think it, it's just, <laughs> so I'm getting rid of that. And then I have, oh, what color is this? This is in Neutralizer. And then I have these two as well. I can't, I mean, they're, I got pretty far down, but one of them is in sand and the other one is in medium. And they, the, t uh, the wand is starting to stink too. Yeah, so I'm, I'm getting rid of these. So, not fan. And then I'm also, this one I've had for a long time too. This is the CoverGirl Outlast All Day. And this one is in medium. It, it stinks. <laughs> It stinks, so I'm getting rid of that. And I barely use this one too. So this means I don't need to obsessively buy concealer. I I have two right now, and I'm happy with that. I also have this concealer from Bobbi Brown. It's like a it's like a deluxe size sample, and this one's in honey, and it made me look crepey. I've tried it, I tried it probably like 10 times. Tried it with different powders, different combinations, and it just didn't work for me. It doesn't look like I tried anything, but it didn't, it was gross. And I don't know, maybe it's because it's old and I found it in like a drawer and I was like, oh, I'll try this out. But it wasn't very good for me. Um, I finished, well, I used this Wet n Wild Volume Waterproof Mascara for a month and I hated it. So I think I'm not going to try to use it for the whole time because... Um, for three months because I didn't like it. I think what it is is because it has like that plastic bristles and I don't, I'm not a fan of those. I like the like the natural like bristles, but I am gonna save this because I do donate my wands, so I'm not throwing that out yet. I also have this uh, pen, I don't even know who, I got this in my Ipsy. I found it and I was like, I think this is a year old now, or at least more than six months. So I don't think this is gonna be hygienic and I noticed that like the older my eyeliners get, I start tearing up, so I need to get rid of that. I also have this brow pencil uh, that I got in my Ipsy. I, there's still a lot left, but I don't like this shape, so I'm getting rid of it. It's like that teardrop shape. I like the like really thin one, so I'm getting rid of that. And then I have this Sicily... Um, the Supreme Anti-Aging Eye Cream. This lasted me for a long time. See, I get these little samples and they last me a long time. I did like it. It's probably like a thousand dollar eye cream. Probably not a thousand. Probably like anywhere from two to three hundred bucks. I'm not buying this. I mean, if, if I get a sample, I'll totally use it. I'll be excited about it, but you know. Oh, another eye cream from Sicily. This was fine. Not buying it. This one is the La Integral Anti-Age Cream Contour for Eyes and Lip. I only exclusively use this on my eyes. Can you guys see that? Uh, but you know not purchasing because it's like a thousand dollars um i threw these in here because these are like rubber bands that are just like exhausted right i typically because i have such thick hair i will put two rubber bands at one time because that will hold my hair and these are from scrunchie and i've already repurchased but this was like you know what the pack of like 25 or 24 whatever um but these are exhausted so i had to and i finished my whole pack so I, I would repurchase this. If you have thick hair, my little trick is putting two and it really holds your ponytail in. Also, this is the eye contour mask from Sicily. It was okay. I, this one definitely it was just okay. I didn't see anything different. Actually, it felt like greasy and I didn't like it. So uh, if I got a sample of that, I don't know if I would really get that excited about it. Oh, and then I used this It Cosmetics and Medium, the CC cream. Uh, I tried, because it wasn't my color, I tried using it as concealer. It was fine for concealer, I just didn't like it. And then I also tried this Vibrancy by Josie Marin, these um, samples of foundation. It's like an oil-based foundation, and it was terrible on my skin. So maybe if you had dry skin, this would be better, but uh, combination oily skin, maturing skin, it was terrible, I didn't like it. I didn't even finish, I used it like three times and it was terrible. And the last, one of the last few things, 
is I finished this Satin Ultra Vivid Fashion Colors Aloe Vera Base. This is like my hair color in 3N. Um, so I like to get my hair professionally done probably like once a quarter to save money and I do my roots myself because I have gray hair. So this is the color I use. Done with that. I have repurchased. And the last thing I wanted to share with you is this. Well, it's food, but I thought I'd share it because it's, it's one of my favorite things. It's called Jill's Crackers. And this is certified gluten-free, uh, non-GMO, kosher, and it is paleo and vegan. It's the, the ingredients are organic sesame seed, organic tapioca flour, organic almond oil, uh, almond flour, organic sunflower seed flour, uh, organic chia seeds, organic flax seeds, organic apple cider vinegar. And the seasonings are salt, garlic, lemon, lavender, herbs, rosemary oil, and basil oil. And this one is the Mediterranean one. This is my favorite one right now. It is so good. It looks like this. I like to put, I just like to snack on it like hummus or um, any kind of spreads or cheese, which I shouldn't eat cheese. But it, this is really good and I thought I'd share that with you. Anyways, let me um, finish my mask or like wash it off and then I'll tell you how I close out. Um, I've, oh wait, I also have this. Um, I have the Aromatherapy Stress Relief. This is like a oil to cream cleanser. It's a body wash. I love this. Um, they just, This one, when I got this, I got two and I was in love and then Bath and Body Works came out with another one and I just, I don't know where it is, but I'm gonna buy this. This this is great, I love it. I feel it's very hydrating. All right, let me finish my, wash off my mask and then I'll show you how I finish off my um, skincare routine and then uh, we'll close out the video. So I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. I just washed off the mask and it's pretty amazing. I am going to put on this One Step Moisture Up pad. I got this in my pink sole. When I first saw it, I thought he was like wiping his pits, but it's not, it's wiping his face. So, it's like looks like a Stridex pad. Can you guys see that? Um, I got this, did I say I got it in my pink sole? Anyways, got it in my pink sole. I haven't um, really used this that much. So I wouldn't want to try to uh, get used out of my pink sole stuff before the next one comes. So, I just do that. So far I like it. And then um, I'll use this collagen water. I got this in Hawaii. If you want to see the rest of the stuff I got in my Hawaii haul, I'll link it up here. And then I just spray it. And then the next thing I'm going to use is my Glossier Super Glow Serum. Can you see that? And then I saw like Miss Fame like drop it like that and go like not this particular one, but he was using something and I was like, oh, I like that because I feel like when I just put it in my hands and then like, um, like drop it in my hands and, and mix it or, or, you know, rub my hands together, I feel like I lose a lot of product. So I like that he did this, she did this, and I was like, oh, I need to do that. So I like that. And then I just tried this. This is the Belief Hungarian Water Essence. I'm loving this because I feel like, um, just put like a pump. Um, it just, my skin will just absorb it up. It's so nice. And then I've been using this Glow Recipe Watermelon Pink Juice Moisturizer. It's not a, you have to have really oily skin to consider this as a moisturizer. I just use this as a serum. So I take a couple pumps. It has a very faint watermelon smell. I don't, I, I won't rebuy this, but actually I'm trying to pay on this because I don't think it's worth, I don't think it's worth it. As a moisturizer, it's okay as a serum. So, and then I'm going to use this. I also got this in my pink sole. What is this? Um, Instead of Advanced Renew Skin Formula, I don't like this either, but I'm, oh, look at that. I did take this traveling with me, so um, I feel like I need to finish this, but I'm hating it. I'm not loving it so much, so I might just graduate it to like a hand cream, and it's starting to smell funny too. That didn't smell good. Anyways, and the last thing is my bomb.com. 
from Glossier. I love this. And that is my skincare routine. Did I mention, if you guys are wondering, I am gonna be 43 this month. Um, I do have combination oily skin, you know, mature skin, and I just really think that right now for my age, uh, it's important. Oh, by the way, um, I'm gonna put it out there. I don't know if any of you guys did this, but I got uh, a couple things from Amazon that I didn't order. My sister didn't order for me. None of my family ordered it for me. But did any of you guys send me this um, Made Max folding trunk organizer with two large compartments? And then I also got, in the same box, I got this Boss Lady mug from Amazon. So I don't know if it was a mistake or someone sending me a gift. So let me know in the comments if it's you. I really appreciate it if you did. Thank you. Um, and yeah, that's it. So please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video, if you like watching Sam. <laughs> and hit the notification bell so you get notified because a lot of my um, subscribers tell me that YouTube's not notifying them when I upload, so get the bell. And then until next time, I love you guys so much and take care.